Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be checking out the details and animations for the upcoming LR Gallic Gun Trunks and Vegeta, which is dropping for this year's Tanabata Celebration, as well as their banner side unit, which is a new base Goku Black. So, with that said, let's uh, jump right into it, starting of course with the animations, because I haven't seen them yet, I've been holding off for the video to share this experience with you guys. So let me just full screen this, I will pause my music real quick, and let's get it. この先を見ろ。まだ見ぬ敵を宇宙最強。お前が誇り高きサイヤ人の血を引く者ならば、俺の息子ならば誰にも負けることは許さん。俺超えてみせます。目の前の敵も。俺は諦めない。絶対にこの通りだ。トランクス。俺の力よ。この世界の人間の盾になれ。みんなの願いをこの一撃に込める。最悪。人間の底力を侮るなよ。くらえ。ギャリック。トランクス、やったな。はい。<笑> okay. Um Damn. All right. Well, I'm I mean, I got to say guys, I had some pretty high expectations coming in. Um like I said in yesterday's video, these animations are probably going to be pretty nice. I was like cautiously optimistic about it but they killed it man they absolutely killed it i got like goosebumps man at the end there with the the active skill um the ost is awesome as always right uh yeah these are some great looking animations they're they're, they're really nicely done i'm really happy with them i'm not gonna say like they're the best animations i've seen i think that still goes to uh, probably one or both of the 7th anniversary LRs. I think those are still like the top, top tier animations, but this is like right there, you know, it's like right below the 7th anniversary LR animations, in my opinion. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Especially the active skill. The active skill is, the active skill might be actually in line with the 7th anniversary LRs, so... There you have it, those are the animations for the LR Trunks and Vegeta. Um, the Goku Black in the beginning honestly was a little bit underwhelming, if I, if I gotta be honest. Um, it just kind of looked like a... almost like a free-to-play unit, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter because I don't expect much from the side units, right? So, um, yeah, let's move on to the details now. I could you know, sit here and talk about the animations for a while, but I gotta stop. So, I'm just gonna let this finish out, and then we will move on to the details, which are of course provided by the one and only Goresh from his Twitter page. So a big shout out to the homie Goresh, of course, for the translations. And uh, starting here with the LR Trunks and Vegeta, hopefully you guys can see. Okay, so. Uh, leader skill, bond of parent and child, not bond of master and disciple, bond of parent and child, 
which is a new category, or Future Saga category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, and an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who are also in the Battle of Fate category. So, um, good leader skill, kind of what people were expecting. I will say, I was really hoping for joint forces. I really wanted that 170% slash 200% leader skill for joint forces. Um, I guess it was... I don't know, I guess it was just a dream, because this makes a lot more sense. It's just, it's just I I wanted to run a 170% joint forces team, so not this time, hopefully sometime soon, but good leader skill nonetheless. Uh, 12 key super attack, Rage of the Warrior Race raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. Um, 18 key, Gamma Burst Flash and Burning Attack raises attack and defense, so this is stacking, so every time you launch the 18 key super, they will keep that attack and defense, and causes mega colossal damage. And then they have the entry animation, which you saw uh, in the beginning, and passive is future defending father and son, plays entrance animation during first attacking turn, if there is another ally in the same turn who is in the bond of parent and child category, and gains key plus 2, and defense plus 70%, and guards against all attacks for the first 5 turns, which is great. Key plus 2, attack and defense plus 140%, and performs an additional attack that has a medium chance to become a super attack. Gains an additional key plus 1, and defense plus 15%, and chance to perform a critical hit by 7% for every attack received, max of key plus 5, defense plus 75% uh, and chance to perform a critical hit by 35% and then gains an additional attack and defense plus 70% and guards against all attacks while in the first slot in a turn. So first impressions, uh, awesome unit, awesome unit especially defensively, I mean it's not something that we see too often. I mean, we have been seeing it more these days, but still not as much as I would like. A really good slot 1 defender, guys. An amazing slot 1 defender. I mean, this unit, they actually want you to put them in the first slot, because they're getting guard against all attacks there. They're getting the additional attack and defense. Um, also, a ton more defense when getting hit, up to... Uh, 75% more defense, right? And then 35% crit chance, some more key. Um, and then you get the 70% defense here for the first five turns. And then this attack and defense plus 140% is also not dependent on supering. So yeah, you're basically getting like all the defense um, in that first slot. And they're gonna be a defensive monster, but then offensively, they're gonna be putting up some big numbers, man. They're getting... Uh, collectively over 200% attack on their passive it looks like. Actually it's probably going to be closer to like 300% with the way it's calculated so a lot of attack and then on top of that you're getting the 35% crit chance, you're getting the medium chance for an additional super attack so uh, you know with hidden potential investment possibly up to three supers in a turn right and then you're getting attack and defense stacking for the 18 key super, you're getting the one turn raise for the 12 key super, so yeah, they're going to be doing a lot of damage. Obviously, I think the focus here was defense, or at least to make them viable in basically every event in the game defensively, but the offense is not going to be lacking. The, the damage will not be lacking for this unit for sure, so uh, I really like what I see so far. Uh, moving on to the active skill, which of course is the Father-Son Gallic Gun. Um, able to be used once three turns have elapsed from the start of battle and all, uh, all other allies in the turn are in the Future Saga category. Or, after five turns have elapsed and HP is 50% or less. So I like how there's the double conditions. Um, essentially, it's much easier to get it, of course, if you have a few a full future saga team but if you don't have that then you can still get it after five turns and uh, HP is 50% or less which is not great but it's not bad it's not bad 
uh, and it massively raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage, performs critical hits during the turn when activated, and raises all allies' defense by 20% for one turn. So not only is it going to be doing a ton of damage, you're also going to be supporting your um, rotation a little bit, and uh, you get more damage with the critical hits after, so um, that's just going to be like a really high damaging turn when you activate the active skill. And then the links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Dismal Future, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Bond of uh, Parent and Child, Future Saga, uh, Battle of Fate, Joined Forces, Vegeta's Family, Time Travelers, and Bond of Master and Disciple. So of course one issue with a lot of Joined Forces units is that they don't tend to have a lot of categories. This one has more than the average, right? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 categories, so... As far as team building options, it's not going to be too bad. So that is the LR Vegeta and Trunks, guys. I gotta say, I am very impressed. Very, very impressed. Um, it's going to be interesting to see, of course, what they do. Um, you know, in game right now, I'm just going off the on paper details, but um, it, it looks like an amazing unit, as I was expecting. Of course, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it, but I really don't have uh, any complaints right now. Let's quickly jump over to the Goku Black before we go, make sure we cover him as well. So, leader skill is Future Saga Category Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and seals super attack. And then passive is attack and defense plus 100%, gains an additional attack and defense plus 25% per attack received, up to 100%. Attacks effective against all types starting from the turn where the fifth attack is received. And then Future Saga category allies key plus three and attack and defense plus 40%. So I really like these key plus three attack and defense plus 40% um, you know, support units. So it's nice to have another one for Future Saga uh, because I think the only other one that provides this much support for, fu for Future Saga is the Int Mai who I mean honestly outside of like Super Battle Road for her stuns is not that great so um, this guy's gonna be a much better alternative especially if you run want to run like a primarily extreme uh, Future Saga team right with like the Zamasu's and the Goku Blacks and so on and so forth uh, links are Big Bad Bosses, Dismal Future, Nightmare, Fear and Faith, Cold Judgment, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Future Saga, Realm of Gods, Patara, Time Travelers, Inhuman Deeds, Corroded Body and Mind, and Worldwide Chaos. So, uh, as far as the passive goes, you're starting with 100% attack and defense, which is not good. Um, so for the first like couple of turns before... You're able to build this up it could be a little bit scary on things like super battle road where he's gonna be pretty squishy to start right but once you get the additional boost once you take the four attacks he's gonna be pretty good defensively he's gonna be getting a good amount of defense good amount of attack attacks effective against all types um after taking five attacks is also nice um and then of course the support is great so um kind of a simple unit a pretty basic unit in my opinion but definitely good De definitely solid for a side unit so uh yeah that is the goku black um that is the lr galley gun trunks and vegeta which i am once again super impressed by and uh that's gonna do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching let me know your opinions about both of these units especially the lr in the comments down below and uh hope you guys are excited for the ten of celebration on jp of course for my global global players we're looking forward to the anniversary which is starting in just over a week so lots of exciting stuff happening on both sides of the game right now and uh yeah that's all i gotta say guys thank you so much for watching once again as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger africa media signing out